Hello friends, now we are into set 5 of UiPath interview questions. So in this, I am going to have a couple of more questions on RE framework which you might face. Okay, so let's get started. So in your interview, you might get questions. They might ask you, can you please open RE framework? Okay, they might give you access to a virtual desktop where you will be asked to do certain activities and show them right so they will ask you about re framework so opening re framework i have told you in my last video right you open that in the last video i have explained you a couple of questions now in this one i have very specific questions okay so they might ask you can you open um, go to the projects tab right now in the projects tab there are multiple folders once you have opened re framework if you hit on projects there are multiple folders out of this multiple folders they might ask you open a folder called framework right so once you have opened they might ask you go ahead and explain all of this xml files what are this where they are used right so you have to explain all of them so remember for all of this i have detailed video in the re framework playlist which you can watch but for a quick question and answer session let's get started for example if they ask you close all application close all application what is the purpose of it i think this is quite clear to open all the applications that you'll be using right kill all process kill all process is all about killing the processes so the two ways you either close the application close the browser just by hitting on the x mark right or you kill its process okay close all applications about closing the applications directly and this is by killing the so this is exactly where is this is used and where this is used this you can identify for example let's say i have to open the initialization block the first state right once i open the first state scroll down and uh, here you can see they are calling kill all process activity here okay so they are killing all the process act. so this xml file is called so similar way you can identify where the close all applications use so that is a task probably i would assign it to, to you but again general meaning they will ask you you should be able to explain okay now the next they would ask init all applications what is the use of init all applications and what is the difference between both of this init all settings and init all applications right what is the can you explain the difference between init all settings xml and init all applications in nari framework okay so this is where you will get stuck uh, you may be knowing but you may not answer so you should be aware of the question so how do you answer this again to understand both of this we will go to the first state initialization state okay so here what happens if you scroll down the first workflow right they are calling the workflow called init all settings init all settings so all of this in detail i have explained in on my channel okay go to my channel uipath expo hub and look for the re framework playlist okay so there you will get so now let's understand what is the invoke or init all settings do what is the meaning of this and what is the meaning of init all applications so to understand this simply open this workflow and here you will see init all setting is just to read the dictionary file and the explanation is there on the top initialize populate and output a configuration configuration dictionary to be used throughout so simply you can answer in it all settings xml file is all about reading the config file so the config file you must be aware right so reading the queue name reading the asset details reading the log messages so all for all of this this is used okay this is used just for the config file purpose okay 
and constants read from the local configuration file and assets are fetched from the orchestrator asset values so whatever is there in the config file you must have seen that config file so all these things are in it all settings generally reads all of this data okay the dictionary values been read through the in it all settings xml okay so you should be clear about the first question now let's understand in it all applications so what is the purpose of in it all application now let's understand the purpose of in it all application now again go back to the main okay open the in initialization block and in the initialization block if you scroll slightly down the first one we have gone through if you scroll slightly down there is something called invoke init all applications so what is the purpose of this if you open this xml file this this is the place where the developers has to write the code so this will be by default will be blank so you will say the init all application by default it will be blank and here the developer needs to write different activities to open the required application for the project so whatever application that you have to deal in your project you have to open all of those applications okay so that is the difference now the next question they will ask you how many times config file is run tricky question how many times config file is run in our framework so the answer is it will be run once why you can you can see if there is a application exception or system exception if there's a problem in your system if there's a problem in the application right that time your re framework will point to the first state right so that does not mean the config file the config local file will be read multiple times okay so it will be only read once so how how can you prove that it, it only reads once so this this is the workflow which tells you if first run read the local configuration file if it is for the first time read the config file so how that works they will ask you how that works how do you uh, design this for the first time it should run so generally if you see the variable there is a variable they have created called config which is a dictionary type variable which by default is blank there is no value so if config file if the config dictionary value is nothing then do this so for the first run for the first run it will try to read the config file in it all settings it will read the all the details all the settings of the config file and and if you look at the import argument what happens out dot config file this is going to after it reads all the data it's going to pass that data to config variable so the config variable this time will have some data now it will have all the details so only if the config uh, a config file is nothing that's where it will run otherwise it will not run okay e first run okay so that should be your answer only once it runs okay tricky question now let's say they will ask you uh, what is the data type for transaction item so let's say if you go to uh, get transaction data so what is the purpose of this state to get the queue items right to get the next transaction to be processed so to get the next transaction item so generally transaction item what is transaction item what is transaction item so transaction item is nothing but let me open uh, the queue right so when i am creating a queue by default your queue will be you know nothing will do for the first time when you are creating there will be no data so once you start adding transaction queue items right once you have uploaded the data to the queue what happens the queue will get populated with the data so once the data is populated or data row right row by row from an excel file or any application once it starts populating the data that is where right that is where all the data what will be there inside will be called as transaction items remember once the data goes to the queue that becomes the trans each row by row item become the transaction items okay okay so you understood the transaction item now um, so these are the couple of questions guys they would ask you and you should not get confused you should be able to answer them uh, in a confident way right for that i always tell you 
प्लीज प्लीज स्पेंड बिकॉज आर ई फेमा कोड बी अ मैंडेटरी सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट यू यूल हैव टू गो थ्रू सो प्लीज गो टू माई चैनल एंड देयर look for the playlist called arif firma it is a very long nobody would create such a detailed video but i have created detailed video to explain each of this activity so if you go inside each activity i am explaining okay small small to big everything i am explaining with practical knowledge okay so please ensure you go through that arif firma playlist or simply go to the videos and start typing arif firma you will get so many videos that i have created so go one by one okay line by line you go and start reading them because only when you go through all of this see this is the playlist you are patari from a playlist so go through all the 10 videos that i have so this is very very important guys very very important if you would like if you need a job then you should learn ari framework in detail okay so thank you for this video this is what i would like to cover thank you very much guys to to get connected with ui path expo hub Uh, stay connected i am going to upload more videos thank you very much you guys have a great day